All right, hi YouTube. It is 12:38 p.m. and today I'd like to show you guys out there how to go uh, trick out Windows 7 and make it look a little bit better, you know? Cuz uh when I first got Windows 7, it looked a it was really really dull and I was just like surprised. I mean, I thought they were coming out with something a lot better, but I guess Windows 8 is supposed to be so much better and stuff like that. Well, I'm I'm just going to show you how to make Windows 7 look better with really simple programs just orb changer for one this one right here that you're, you're seeing on your screen Windows 7 start orb changer v 2.0 I'll provide a download link documents um, zips and rares I will also show you how to change your boot screen from that ugly starting Windows screen to something it lists all your processes that start at boot and if you know what you're doing on the computer you can watch them and see if there's anything wrong well first thing we're going to do is go to tweaks logon and we're gonna move this to the desktop I don't like a cluttered desktop person I usually keep one or two icons I use rocket dock and I'll provide a link for that also I love you guys over at the forum um, Universal Theme Patcher allows you to bring in third-party themes and put on Aereo to them, so it's it's pretty simple. Extract a, extract your desktop. Go to Tweaks Logon, and uh, I'll provide a tutorial for patching DLLs to do third-party themes in Windows 7. Um, I personally follow tutorials on it because it's a bit complicated seven different different ones <laughs> and this is my current logon screen you can revert it back to the default and then go to change and then you can pick any of these whatever you want but personally I like to go to pictures and this one right here And then it hits a backup, and that will be your new logon screen. That pictures you and your password and all that. Well, after you do that, you just close it, and then you can delete the file. But make sure to keep the rare, unless you want to keep the, the, the file as portable, so you don't really need it at all. I mean, you can just delete it and keep the rare, the rare file, and do whatever. Now, to move on to changing the start orb to something better. You got, or for me anyway, I go to miscellaneous programs, this folder, and I'll provide a download link for all of this. Everything you see here will be provided as a, in a download link in the description, right below you. And then you go to select and change orb button. And for this video, I'm just gonna use one of the star orbs that they have. They provide um, some of the stuff that they have in there. I mean, you can go to DeviantArt and get awesome. I mean, great orbs over there. I mean, they do a great job over there and if you want to preview one you just hit right click and preview but I just want to do this one for you guys real quick it opens a small uh, command prompt window and now it should flash your screen really quick but don't get scared and then it will see just like this it's just closing explorer.exe so it can change the start menu or the start orb and there it is and the only reason it shows three is because that's when you, that one's when it's just sitting there. That one's when you hover over it with your mouse. And then that's once you click it. As you can see, the change is down there on your screen. Okay, moving on to themes. To install a third party theme, you have to have the UX theme patcher for either 64 bit or 86 or x86, which is 32 bit, which is Intel. And then you go to personalize. And then once you go to personalize, you're opening up a whole new deal here. You can't just leave it the way it is now. You have to go, uh, once you get in here, you have to go to computer, Windows directory, from the local disk. I know, I don't have a good hard drive. You have to go to local disk and then the Windows directory, and I'll post a link on that, also a tutorial. From there, you can drag, you drag the dot theme file over. 
and you also drag the folder it came in. And then you can get a nice theme. Please wait. <laughs> and then you can get a nice theme like this. It kind of looks like Windows Vista almost. But if you want a different background, that's fine. You can go to pictures and do whatever. Um, like I said, I don't like to keep a cluttered desktop at all. Um, Rocket Dock, and I keep the performance monitor up there because, as you can see, my processor sent right now, and that's never good for your computer unless you're running more than one window, and I'm only running this for you guys and Yahoo Messenger. But uh, yeah, that's it. And if you want to make it look more like Vista, you can just go to Properties and make it smaller you do small icons and then I've even read tutorials on how you can make this part over here look more like Vista but I uh, I'm not a big Vista fan personally I didn't like the looks I'm gonna boot or a bunch of guys so but whatever you guys want to do you can have uh, the world's yours from here have fun bye YouTube